Hey guys, Roy here from Your Golf Travel. Hopefully, lots of you will have seen over the last few weeks and lots of you will have seen in a video I posted in early April that we are running a social media slash photography competition at Your Golf Travel called YGT Greatest Shot. Basically, we wanted you guys to share with us and the wider world uh, photos that you've taken either playing golf at home or on golf holidays from the past. Now, in the original video describing this competition and how to enter, the link for that is in the description, by the way, if you haven't seen it, I asked the Muppets, so Crossfield, Lockie and Dan, to send me some entries just to stimulate some creative juices among us. And while the pictures that the boys sent in were lovely, obviously, uh, they can't win. They don't qualify to win your golf travel prizes, but you guys can, and this is where this video comes in. So we've had the first month of the competition run through to completion now, and this video is gonna be all about the April entries, some of the best photos we've received via the hashtag YGT Greatest Shot competition, and the ultimate winner who's gonna get himself a dozen tailor-made TP5 golf balls. So yeah, here we go. 10 best pictures that we received in April, chosen by me, nine honorable mentions and why I like them so much, and the ultimate April YGT Greatest Shot winner. Right guys, so first up we've got this entry from Tim Southen, uh, who went up to the Open Championship at Carnoustie last year with his brother, uh, played Silith on Solway en route, um, and I just love the fact that he's combined attending a world class event like the Open with playing some pretty decent golf as well at an amazing golf course. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I attend a live golf event, I'm just absolutely itching to play golf about five minutes after I'm through the gate. So combining watching Molinari win the Claret Jug, oh Frankie, you should have let Tiger win it, bro. Um, with a world-class Lynx golf course is just, well, what's not to like. Um, good to see you making memories with your brother there, Tim, so keep it up, bro. Second honourable mention has to go to our friend uh, Ed Kemp. Um, when I saw this picture flash up, uh, when I was searching the YT Greater Shot hashtag, uh, it just made me smile. Um, it was a great day when myself and Mark Crossfield went to surprise him. And there's Rory behind there with Ed. He's gonna be at the shot. Please hit the planet, Rory. Oh, we're not gonna see him. Please hit the planet in front of Ed, Ray, please. <laughs> it's giggling. Can I play? How are you doing, alright? I'm alright. Surprise! Yeah, I'm doing, <laughs> right, all right. That is can great. I play? You certainly can. Excellent. Did you get those both those shots? I didn't, I only got his and then I heard you giggle, so I didn't know if it was a giggle because it was a good shot or a bad one. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Good man. <laughs> um, we're basically just trying to help him uh, raise a load of money for a charity that benefits his son, Matthew. Um, Ed has been an absolute trooper ever since we met him as far as I can tell obviously and I follow him on Twitter etc etc and the guy's absolutely relentless just trying to raise as much money as possible for that charity to aid his son Matthew and I'm pretty sure ever since Mark's video went out on his channel the link is in the description below if you haven't seen that already I'm sure you guys probably have uh, I think he's raised over £10,000 so far so Ed Top man, lovely photo, uh, brings back good memories and keep up the effort, bruh. Third honourable mention goes to YGT Davey, who you guys might recognise for some uh, course vlogs that were shot in Tunisia on Mark Crossfield's channel. Uh, no, Davey, you can't win. <laughs> um, you're a YGT staff member, you are disqualified from winning prizes. But great picture though, from uh, Thrashing Cliffs in Bulgaria, a course I'd absolutely love to play. Now I just wonder how many balls I'd rinse into that sea before I eventually hit that fairway, but lovely photo nonetheless. Fourth entry, and this one was very close to being the picture I chose to win the April Greatest Shot prize. Um, but it's a wicked picture, it's very moody and quite heavily edited, and that's not a problem at all in my eyes. 
if you look back to the original Great A Shot video, um, when I spoke to Kevin Murray, who's a professional golf photographer, he talks about the importance of that post-production element. So there's nothing wrong with editing pictures. This one's really dramatic with the colors, the rainbow, everything. The only reason why I didn't pick it as the winner, I think, is I'd love to have seen a little bit more of the 18th green, which is in the bottom right of that picture. It just gets cut out uh, a little bit, and that would have made this photo absolutely amazing, because you would have had that focal point of the flag on the 18th green. But anyway, lovely snap nonetheless. Uh, Jack, I'll see you soon. Nice picture. Number five on the list is from Johnny. Not sure of the surname, but it's at jscotty 2 Hotty. Uh, love the action shot. Love the setting. Old head uh, down in Cork in Ireland looks utterly ridiculous. And it's right up there at the top end of my bucket list. So loving this picture. I think the thing I love most about this photo is that it just brings me back to those amazing days you get on a seaside Lynx golf course where the weather is absolutely perfect. Um, I think they're probably few and far between if we're honest with each other but it just you know for example the day I spent uh, at Turnbury last summer with Mark, Matt and Dan on the Ailsa course where the weather was just absolutely sublime. Oh he's found it! Oh, Sorry Ray we were just bumbling it along. Good lie? Um, I wouldn't say so. You got, plenty, <laughs> you got plenty of green and no slope to go over. It's basically sitting like a bird's nest. Bird's nest shot. Um, where am I aiming? There. Right, all right, yeah. Literally I'm landing it here. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. how much green is there? Nothing. You've got to land it there with loads of height. You've got nothing. Yeah, I'm just going to go mega high then. Mega, mega high. Go mega high. Was mega there high. another option down there? <laughs> I bet you always got hairy legs. Yeah, I like, get yeah, really hairy. Oh, oh wow. slam oh dunk. Oh, be, be in the hole. Great shot. Oh, that wow. is brilliant. I'm going to clap. Yeah, yeah oh, clap. Exactly. I would clap, but I've got the camera. I'm going to clap with the camera. Clap him on, more clapping, keep him till he gets on. Keep the clapping going. See how he handles, keep it going. Till he marks it, till he marks it. So you keep clapping a bit louder. That's it. Yeah, woo Ray. Yeah, keep clapping. Keep clapping even once he's marked it. <laughs> yeah, I like that. He handled the awkward clapping well. You really can't top that as a golf experience. Um, so yeah, class photo, Johnny. Uh, really like it. Number six, uh, Nigel Stubbs at the Monty at Celtic Manor. Um, absolutely love the perspective on this shot. And the colors are really, really vivid too. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have played the Montgomery at the Celtic Manor or the other two courses that are there, but I reckon this is arguably the best hole on the entire resort. Really fun part five. We need to thread that tee shot through those trees you can see in the distance and then the hole just dives off the edge of a hill um, with a green that's massively below the level where you hit your tee shot to. Really, really fun, a great hole, and I think we can all agree this is a lovely photograph. Number seven, hashtag seven, um, from Klaus Lovholen. I'm definitely getting that wrong, and I do apologize. Um, but it's from Lofoten Links in Norway. Um, this is actually one of the, again, harking back to that original Greater Shot video where we had some input from Kevin Murray. This is one of the places that he mentioned was one of his career highlights as a golf photographer was visiting this golf course. Um, it's an absolutely stunning looking place. It, it looks totally unique to me. I've never seen another golf course like this. Then you've got the added bonuses of the location of this place allows you to play golf. It's basically kind of up in the Arctic Circle and at certain months throughout the year, the course is open 24 hours a day because the sun never goes down. Uh, and you can play golf in the midnight sun. Uh, and then also at other parts of the year, you can even get lucky and see the Northern Lights from this location as well. So loving that photo, very unique and a great picture of what I think must be their signature hole because I've seen this image fairly frequently as well on social media. Number eight, um, I like this picture a lot. I think it could have been a bit better had you shot it in landscape so you get a bit of a better perspective of what you're looking at. But it's David Price from St. Enadoc in Cornwall. Um, I basically think this photo just perfectly sums up what you can be faced with on a classic Lynx course. Uh, the Himalaya bunker on the church course at St. Enadoc is utterly bonkers but brilliant at the same time. And as you can see here, David's hit the fairway, like he's hit a good tee shot, and that's what he's looking at for his second. Um, so as I said, Lynx golf quirkiness all over, uh, absolutely love it. And I think what I like most about this photo is the fact that it's taken as David is kind of looking up just at the bunker and thinking, oh, this is what I've got into the green, Jesus. Um, I'm guessing he was feeling a little twitchy over that one. As I said, I would love to have seen it in landscape. 
I think you would have just got a bit more out of that photo had you not taken it in portrait. But David, if you're watching, let me know in the comment section, did you make it over the bunker, bruh? And just before we get to the winner of the April Greatest Shot, um, I, lo I love this picture from Andrew Johnson. It doesn't say which course it was taken at, um, but I love the mood captured in this photo. Um, obviously there's more than one golfer playing because well, someone's taking the picture and someone's walking off in the distance but it, it just reminds me of those moments of like peaceful solitude you can find on the golf course if you happen to go out for a few holes by yourself uh, especially on a, wind, on a crisp winter morning um, look, we all know golf is better enjoyed with a group of mates and in the sunshine primarily um, but there is something to be said for heading out on a crisp winter morning and having a few holes by yourself and just kind of having a bit of me time. So loving that picture. Um, this is what I kind of would have done had I done a little post-production as you can see. Little tiny tweaks kind of make a picture look a bit more dramatic but post-production isn't for everyone and it's a lovely picture in its raw form. Anyway, so time for the winner of the April segment of YGT Greatest Shot. And this one is from Dan Jackson from the Isle of Purbeck Golf Course in Bournemouth. Um, there's really not much I would change about this picture. Um, I love the long shot of the four ball putting out on the green. I love the composition, the colors are great. The scene itself is pretty spectacular as you can see. And it reminds me of some of the days, the really fun days I've had down in Bournemouth playing with my mates. Um, it's honestly, I would say my favourite location in England to play golf. Um, I head down there every year for the Ferndown Open and play a couple of other courses with a load of guys from my golf club and it's always extremely enjoyable. Um, so yeah, great photo Dan. You sir have won yourself a dozen tailor-made TP5 golf balls and I'll be contacting you on social media very soon. I'll be DMing you to get your postal details and all that stuff and we'll get your prize out to you as soon as we can. So there we have it guys, uh, Dan Jackson, got a dozen of these bad boys on the way right now. Um, that's the first month of the White City Greatest Shot competition done. Congratulations Dan Jackson. Um, if you'd like the chance to win some more prizes such as these tailor-made TP5 golf balls, make sure you get involved in the competition. Uh, you can either tweet or Instagram us some pictures that you've taken on the golf course in the past or on golf holidays that you might have coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, just make sure to tag your golf travel, whack in the old YGT Greater Shot hashtag and you're good to go. That will be your entry. And if you haven't got those two social media platforms, you can always email us at greatestshot at yourgolftravel.com. So lots of ways to enter and as I said, you could bag a monthly prize. We're we'll running this competition throughout the rest of the year. And if you saw the original Greatest Shot video, you will know. We also have a grand prize which will be awarded at the end of the year, which is going to be that little bit more special than just a dozen golf balls. So you definitely want to be getting involved for that. So yeah, send in your pictures, get involved. Um, hopefully I'll be seeing your lovely photographic creations on social media or via email very soon. And we'll see you next month. Well, I'll probably see you a lot sooner than that with some other videos, but we'll see you next month for the next installment of Greatest Shot. Thanks for watching.